Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the source code of React project. If you are curious about how a React application is structured and want to explore some key files, you are in the right place. Our React project has a clean structure and we will be exploring some essential files. Here is a quick overview. Index.js which is the entry point of our React application. Index.css which is styling for our application. Index.html the main HTML file where our React app is injected. App.js the heart of our application where components are defined. React stick mode a tool for highlighting potential problem in the application during development. Render and unmount these are methods related to rendering and unmounting component. Report web vitals, which is a utility to report web vitals metrics. Whether you are new to the React or looking to refresh your knowledge, this video is for you. So let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. All of the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and Cambridge Science Education. React second session. We are going to discuss about source code of the React. So if you see in the source code, you will see app.js, app.css, app.test.js, index.css, index.js and report web details. This is a new introduced in latest version and set up test.js. So which is the main page or the main entry for React? Can you identify? There are so many code, right? It will be more to if you have a big project, this will be more. So index.js is the entry point. Same like we have Java, we have main method and and CSS also we have main method. Index is the entry point. Why it is? Because when the service runs, the first is always the index to be pointed out. And even in the domain, when you uh, publish that index will be the entry. By default it is. So if you have given index.js or index.html that will become the entry. So in the index.js you will see the first import statement, few import statement and few function of root, dom element and last is this report web reader. So first two are important because on this my react is going to create and these are optional. After that these are optional. You can remove this as well. But why it has been added? Because if you have a HTML, there will be a related CSS page also. That's why they have created index.css. In index.css have some body and code. So code, uh, these are by default what it says. It has some font and family margin. So it says your page is going to be at the top, top of your. So it is not going to, and it doesn't have any padding and it doesn't have any top header bottom it doesn't have anything so it has and this is the first import statement they are trying to import so this app app is a new component introduced in this index.js this render function so you will see the first react dom is been used we are creating a create root and then we have document get element by id so this is a javascript method document is the function of the javascript itself with the document you are actually calling that id which id is root okay so where is this root this root it is in this page index.html you see in, in this index dot you will see this id so wherever the id this index.js belongs to this this whole or i would say this whole thing is belong to this particular statement so this should not be deleted or should not be changed id can be anything but you should have an entry where your react should uh, be developed or created all your element then we have this function is actually this returning to method so one is the react render another is the react unmount so most mostly you will be will be using render function I'm not using unmount. Unmount is to call when you want to destroy the render tree inside the React root. So what is render tree? So first we need to understand few things. So see this render. 
we have a react uh, stick mode and then we have app so these these way to so navigate is called react tree so there can be many more it can be happen that uh, you are manipulating the dom and some other code has deleted this p tag that moment you need, you need to call this unmount so that only that particular element should get deleted so that is about unmounting thing and moreover unmounting can be called only one at once it cannot be called multiple times that means this unmount can be called in one time in your in this react life cycle and after that render, render cannot be called render can be called multiple time but every time when you call render what happens is in the html it it will first clean then it will again render it will again try to take one by one just like when you download some image it takes pixel by pixel like that it also get when this report web vtl this also has some purpose so report dot people uh, what is this this is also rendering something so it is imported from this page so this is the page dot whatever dot slash that you always think that is a js page if that is a css page you have to write like this okay so this has been imported means this css is included in this page this whole uh, javascript and if this is included then you can also take a parameter this is a uh, i would say this is a variable which is pointing to this page okay so let's go to this report web vtl okay you will see this uh, web report web vtl which is which talks about the performance of your react code so whatever you write you will you can monitor your code if there are some changes you can monitor monitor if, if your code is going bigger equal also monitor the, your code efficiency so there are some few parameter you must know about this you don't need to use right away but you not need to know the first is get cls which is cumulative layout shift and then we have fid first input delay by the name you can understand the input delay if output and input have some difference it will capture that type we have fcp which is content first contentful paint this is related to rendering point because when you actually render in your html or the browser it is actually getting pixelated so think about like that then we have large contentful paint and the last is time to first byte so this is on the code javascript compiler handle those things so this if you want to see those monitor all the detail of performance how it is you can use you can import this anywhere just like it has been used in this index.js here then you console like this console dot log okay next part we will go to app.js app.js consists consist of three part first in the top you'll see import second is the app component and third is the export statement at the bottom so it is also importing another css so both index and dot css and app dot css are different you can have different different css flavor as well if your padding is uh, have different in index it can be different in app dot css the function this is the first function what it is doing is it's returning a simple div class which has class name app this is the attribute class name app every time whenever you want to import to other component if i want to import i want to use this function this app function to other class this class if you want to do like this if you want to import you must have to use export default app this is mandatory if you don't do it if you are trying to import some other function or other class this will throw errors so export and import are have to be handy this stick mode also has some purpose it uh, identifies component with safe life cycle so we have not talk about life cycle of react but this if you add this stick mode or wherever if you want to made your code very strict with your syntax start your tag it should also 
in your tag. Give you some warning when you're using some compatible, like, let's say right now I'm using version 18 of React. What if, if I use version 10, but I am using some new features of 18. So and then there will be compatible issue. So that time it will throw error. And sometime which some few method of function, it's, it's, it's legacy means or it has been depreciated. So that point, it will also throw warning. Is it also detect unexpected side effect and some API context also detects and advanced it ensure reusable state. So we'll add few details where you need to add. You should not add in this index section. Try to avoid these things. This is will be to add your component. You can keep adding component here, but don't write estimate tag here. Okay. You can use, you can add that, but only very minimal thing you need to do that. Create component and whatever you want to do, do it here. Okay. So this class app will have a S2, S3. So what it means that whatever you want to add your tag on any element, do it in app. That's it app for this overview of our React project source code. We have touched on key files like index.js, app.js, explore react, stick mode, and discuss role of render and unmount and report web beaters. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to support our channel growth and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend to our audience. Before you go, I highly recommend checking out our next video. You can find the link in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Ati Dinath and you're being hanging out with BitSign. See you in the next exciting video.